In this video we will discuss different types of offshore vessels. Platform supply vessels or PSVs is a type of offshore vessel which is mainly used for transiting essential equipment and additional manpower to reinforce the high seas operations. Synonymously referred to as offshore supply vessels, OSVs, platform supply vessels help to sustain the demands of the constructional and maintenance projects thus fulfilling a vital necessity in the nature of operations at the high seas. Supply vessels help to lug not just heavy structural equipment like paving material, cement and concrete, and chemical compounds that help in efficient subwater boring operations. In addition to these, food and provisions to the crew and personnel working in the high seas is also transported by way of these supply ships. A diving support vessel as the name suggests is a vessel that is used for the objective of diving into oceans. Divers, who dive into the middle of the seas as a part of professional diving process, need proper diving support. This necessary support is provided by such a dive support vessel. It has to be noted that professional diving means diving for the prospect of construction, repairing and maintenance of oil rigs and other important offshore naval constructions. A crane vessel, crane ship, or floating crane is a ship with a crane specialized in lifting heavy loads. The largest crane vessels are used for offshore construction. Conventional monohulls are used, but the largest crane vessels are often catamaran or semi-submersible types as they have increased stability. Crane ship is similar to the cranes that are used in day-to-day -day construction and hauling business activities. The only difference is the fact that the former variation of crane is used in the seas whilst the latter on firm ground. A crane vessel has enabled to solve the trickiest aspect of construction. Crossing the ocean and helping widespread places to come even closer has become so much easier. Also, in today's times, with the help of a crane ship important oil rigs are constructed so as to enable the world to get precious oil from oceanic sources. Drill ships are special purpose ships which are used for drilling on the ocean beds at deep seas. Such offshore drilling ships, relative to their operational peers have come to be regarded as a safe and sure option for extracting oil and gas at the sea. This is mainly because of the easy transportability that these vessels offer the semi-subs and other kinds of ships that are used to carry out drilling operations in the high seas. Drill ships are inherently ships designed to provide optimum viability while on water, thus making it easy for the conglomerates to engage their services for better qualitative results in the overall scheme of drilling viability and functionality. The Anchor Handling Tug Supply Vessel AHTS, is a vessel that is solely concerned with the objective of either tugging or towing an oil rig or a ship. When it comes to oil rigs, these tugs form the most important necessity as without their help, it would be impossible to place oil rigs in the required sea and oceanic areas. Anchor handling tug vessels or systems have a crane-like equipment, known as the winch, that can be attached to the oil rigs and then propelled forth in the water. The anchor supply, mentioned as a part of the vessel's name, is then allowed to be sunk into the sea water in order to keep the rigs steady. A cable laying ship is a sea-going vessel created specifically to cater to the purpose of laying cable lines underwater. But at the same time since cable laying work does not take place round the clock and throughout the year, a cable laying ship is also additionally used as research ships to monitor various happenings in the oceanic and sea waters. A cable laying ship is built with every modern gadget required to make the process of laying the intricate lines of cable on the oceanic floor simpler. It is enabled with dynamic positioning and dynamic tracking systems which pinpoint the exact location of the ship in the mid-ocean and lay the underwater cable lines appropriately. Pipelay vessels are any ships that install pipe on the ocean floor. These ships are purpose-built for this process, carrying, welding, and laying pipe thousands of meters under the ocean surface. 
To accomplish this goal a typical pipe laying vessel carries a heavy lift crane, used to install pumps and valves, and equipment to lay pipe between subsea structures. Lay methods consist of J-lay and S-lay and can be real lay or welded length by length. They are equipped with dynamic positioning systems that keep them on course and provide redundancy in the event of a failure. A jack-up rig is a barge fitted with long support legs that can be raised or lowered. The jack-up is maneuvered, self-propelled or by towing, into location with its legs up and the hull floating on the water. A jack-up rig or a self-elevating unit is a type of mobile platform that consists of a buoyant hull fitted with a number of movable legs, capable of raising its hull over the surface of the sea. The buoyant hull enables transportation of the unit and all attached machinery to a desired location. Once on location the hull is raised to the required elevation above the sea surface supported by the seabed. Jack-up platforms are used as exploratory drilling platforms and offshore and wind farm service platforms. Semi-submersible vessel is majorly used in marine operations carried out in the high seas like oil drilling and production platforms for oil. In addition, semi-submersible ships are also used as heavy-duty cranes. The semi-submersible vessel was developed because of the need for vessels that could stay afloat and carry out their required functions in the high seas amidst the constant movement of the waves. One of the most important advantages of a semi-submersible ship is that it helps to haul seemingly large cargo. The cargo carrying area of the semi-submersible ship is submersed under the water with the help of the ballast tanks. After the cargo is fully loaded into the loading area, the loading area, deck, is raised once again out of the water and the semi-submersible ship along with its cargo makes its journey to the specified destination. Seismic vessels are ships that are solely used for the purpose of seismic survey in the high seas and oceans. A seismic vessel is used as a survey vessel for the purpose of pinpointing and locating the best possible area for oil drilling in the middle of the oceans. Companies engaged in the oil drilling process make use of such vessels so that they find the best possible subsea areas to drill oil. Another major reason such seismic vessels are so important is that if oil drillers do not get the best subsea location to drill the oil and gas, then it could lead to dangerous and threatening consequences for the marine ecosystem. The usage of the seismologic vessels prevents such inadvertent mistakes. Accommodation barges or ships are inalienable parts of the offshore industry. These are shallow draft vessels which are moored next to the offshore sites to provide additional accommodation facilities whenever a rig or platform is incapable of fitting all the offshore personnel. Today these barges are usually equipped with cranes and maintenance equipment so as to perform some offshore construction work as well. But it's not all work and no play. Modern AWBs might be fitted with a bar, cinema, gym, conference rooms, and lobby for meetings as well as a swimming pool. Well intervention vessels provide subsea well intervention solutions on oil or gas wells, in order to increase production. The vessels have been designed to minimize production downtime and to provide cost-effective well maintenance, production enhancement, and well abandonment solutions. Subsea well intervention offers many challenges and requires much advanced planning. The cost of subsea intervention has in the past inhibited the intervention but in the current economic climate it is much more viable. These interventions are commonly executed from light-slash-medium intervention vessels. The FPSO, Floating Production Storage and Offloading, system is used extensively by oil companies for the purpose of storing oil from the oil rigs in the middle of the ocean and in the high seas. The FPSO, as its name suggests, is a floating contraption that allows oil rigs the freedom not just to store oil but also to produce or refine it before finally offloading it to the desired industrial sectors, either by way of cargo containers or with the help of pipelines built underwater. 
the use of this system ensures that shipping companies do not have to invest even more money by ferrying the raw and crude oil to an onshore refinery before transferring it to the required industrial areas. In simple terms, the FPSO saves time and money effectively. Shuttle tanker is a revolutionary development in the domain of tanker shipping. A shuttle tanker is a ship designed for oil transport from an offshore oil field as an alternative to constructing oil pipelines. It is equipped with offloading equipment compatible with the oil field in question. This normally consists of a taut hawser arrangement or dynamic positioning to maintain the position relative to the field, an offloading arrangement of pipes, and redundant safety systems to ensure that the potentially flammable crude oil is handled safely in a harsh environment. Single Point Anchor Reservoir SPAR, is an alternative to the conventional oil extraction platforms constructed on the sea-slash-ocean beds. Excellent deep draft design which provides strong resistance to wind and waves is also expected to have a positive impact on the global market growth. Rapid industrialization in emerging markets is another key factor that is driving the need for fossil fuels, creating opportunities for the growth of the global single point anchor reservoir market. Additional advantages of SPAR include an enclosed cylinder that can act as a protective barrier for risers and equipment. The Tension Lake Platform TLP, is an offshore floating platform which is used for oil and gas exploration. A tension lake platform is so referred because of its structural dynamics. The offshore platform consists of steeled sinewy pillars that are taut and on purpose and supported with cable lines to provide weightlessness to the floating operational platform structure above the surface of the water. One of the most extensively used type of oil platform, the oil platform design gains immense credibility primarily because of this structural singularity and secondly because of its high efficiency levels in comparatively deeper high seas operational areas.